We are coming to you live now here at 6 a.m. with this breaking news. The search is on right now for at least four people. So you see how many law enforcement vehicles are on this scene here. These four people led police on a chase through a number of our local freeways. We're trying to figure out what led up to that initial pursuit. We do know right now it all started at 415 this morning on the southbound 805. Yeah, but this went all over the county. I mean, the chase went through 30th and Adams. It went to the inner state 8 67 the 52 and 125 and then the car stopped here at this scene southbound 125 near the 52 this is in western santee four of the suspects then got out of the car they took off and right now police are searching for them so you can expect some delays if you're going to be heading through this part of the 125 near the 52 of course if you live in this area um, just be warned that there are suspects on the loose right now, and there's a lot of law enforcement looking for these suspects right now. Right. It's best to just stay away, so let them do their thing so they can find uh, these people they've been searching for, but at least four people, that's who they're looking for. And it's hard to tell from this view. It's still dark, but the vehicle that those people were in, uh, we are told that it stopped there and the people ran out of that car. So at this point, I can't tell what vehicle it would be. You see just all the police officers on the scene. So San Diego, police involved. We saw some sheriff's deputies as well. And our photographers on the scene, our Chris Grow will be there any moment now as well to bring you those live updates. But again, you know, it's the 52 and the 125. So that's all where it all comes together near Mission Gorge Road. Uh, so obviously an area that can get very busy in the morning hours. So uh, please avoid it. And it's not just the scene. This is a big scene too. Uh, it spans from Santee to Mission Gorge. Police, sheriffs all over the place. So uh, best to avoid this area right now. And Evan, I know you're tracking uh, the commute right now for people in that area. Yeah, beyond that, no crashes or collisions. I want to take you to the spot that you're mentioning, though, which again is closer to about West Santee. We've got that uh, State Route 52 connector ramp to the southbound 125 closed with that police activity. We start to see a little bit of those slower speeds on hand, but it looks like right now they haven't really updated this because there was no crash or collision exactly that took place. Uh, but again, you want to avoid that area. That again is the connector ramp from the 52 to the 125 closed with police activity. We'll keep you updated on the latest here in traffic. You can also find it on our website, cbs8.com slash traffic. Back to you. All right, Evan, thank you. Today, San Diego first responders will be holding a news conference regarding vaccine mandates. They will reportedly unveil a lawsuit to push back against the calls to get vaccinated. Critics of the mandates worry what will happen if San Diego fires unvaccinated first responders. About 400 of San Diego's 2,600 police officers have not gotten their shot. It just kind of opens the eyes to see that this could potentially get worse um, if they do, in fact, fire up to 400 of these officers. The news conference is happening at noon. CBS 8 will be there to cover it. Hundreds of friends, family, and fellow officers came together to honor the life of San Diego Police Officer Gary Bowen. He died unexpectedly earlier this month at the age of 49. A service was held for him yesterday morning in Vista. Bowen served in the department for more than two decades, most recently with the homeless outreach team. He was also part of the SDPD Honor Guard. Fellow officers say he was a leader, a great officer, and an amazing person. It is now official. Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer officially announcing that he will retire after nearly 30 years on the bench. Potential candidates to replace him include Federal Appeals Court Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson and Judge J. Michelle Childs, a favorite of South Carolina Congressman and Biden ally James Clyburn. The person I will nominate will be someone with extraordinary qualifications, for character, experience, and integrity. And that person will be the first black woman ever nominated to the United States Supreme Court. President Biden says he'll nominate Breyer's replacement by the end of February. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says he wants to move quickly to confirm the nominee ahead of midterm elections. Okay, it's an exciting time. Yeah. This happening right here, day three now of the Farmers Insurance Open at Torrey Pines. Yeah, we are in the international spotlight yes, here, are. and you can watch at 2 p.m. You can watch the rounds right here on CBS 8. But now we want to get out to Dana Marie McNichol. She's live at Torrey Pines. How's it looking out there, Dana Marie? 
Well, it's extremely dark right now, so we can't show you too much. But what I do want to show you is this green, beautiful groomed green right behind me. The crews were just out there moments ago, making sure it's perfect for those players. Uh, tee off this morning for round three starts at 930. Some of the best golfers around the world are here. The top leaders are just sitting at 13 under. John Rahm is someone to look out for, someone to watch. He's been a fan favorite. Uh, he did win the U.S. Open here last year, won his first PGA uh, win in 2000. 2017. So this course he really likes and he's doing really well. Uh, a couple other names, Justin Thomas, Adam Shank. Maybe you haven't heard of him yet, but you absolutely will after this weekend. Uh, a couple of things to go over in terms of what you can expect. Now this year we don't need uh, vaccination requirements or COVID-19 proof of a test. You will need to wear a mask just indoors though. Uh, so that's something that you want to know. Now in terms of tickets, there are absolutely tickets still on sale at Farmers Insurance open.com uh, for parking. It is a tough situation here at Torrey Pines, so there will be a shuttle coming from the Del Mar Fairgrounds and a couple of local lots around the course, uh, but organizers are really encouraging people to Uber. Now, it is actually a pretty rare event to have the tournament start on Wednesday and end on Saturday. For people who are wondering, hey, why is this happening? It's actually due to the NFL and the football schedule on Sunday, so it's a big week weekend full of sports for you. Golf on Saturday, football on Sunday. Hey, not too bad, right? Uh, so it's just as much of a social event for so many people as it is watching golf. Uh, many grab drinks, enjoy the sunshine, those amazing views here at Torrey Pines, lots of great food as well. Uh, there's also fun stuff to do if you want to get your hands on some clubs. TaylorMade has some opportunities to test out some of their new products. Uh, so all around an incredible weekend ahead. Round three starting at 930, but those leaders, those big names, John Rahm, Justin Thomas, Adam Shake, they're teeing off at 11. 1140. So if you're thinking, I don't want to get up too early, I don't want to start my weekend too early, uh, that's when you can see those leaders. I mean, we have so many golfers here that people have enjoyed watching over the last two days. So thousands of people have come out to uh, Torrey Pines here. You can watch them practice their putting before they head out. So a lot of opportunities to get up close and really see those players and their skills. So we're going to be live all morning long. Uh, so stick with us. We're going to show you some of the best places to watch some of the best views here in Torrey Pines. So you'll want to stick around. I'm live in La Jolla. Dana Marie McNichol. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, and we are putting you in the spirit <laughs> of the farm. Farmers Insurance oh, Open. That's right. You weren't ready for that one, oh, were you, buddy? I, I, no. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> All right. said they're practicing putting. Yes, so. they are practicing putting, so we got to practice our putting. And by the way, the winner of the putt-off challenge between us three gets the amazing... <laughs> the coveted. CBS 8 Mornings Putting I mean, Pro. Go in tight to this jacket and just show how coveted this I thing is. I want to wear that so bad. I mean, <laughs> custom made, custom designed, no, slash no, Jeff Severly borrowed me this. No, and, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, Netta, you know, uh, as okay. we've talked about before, putting is all in the shoulders, right? So you just no, yeah, twist your this. shoulders. <laughs> like, right. Let's see if you really don't. Let's take your first shot. Miniature golf, guys. Well, that's basically what this is. This is like office golf here. These are my husband's gloves. Here goes Netta. Up for the shot. Ready? Okay. Oh! oh no! Bam! <laughs> yeah. Is the green jacket hers? I, I guess mean, oh, it's hers if I we miss. Just setting us I up guess for loss already. See, I just made that. No, you guys, that's going to be embarrassing. Oh! Okay. Oh. We need two jackets. Oh, we need I'm two jackets. You guys were like stressing out about this. I was trying right to tell them. I thought I was going to literally. I want to preface this with I have absolutely no sporting ability. No, no well, prefacing allowed. Not, For time, no prefacing. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 like, this isn't new information to us. Um, okay, let's see. And Narani approaches the. Uh, yeah, there don't we go. hit me. Am I in a danger zone? He's back. At, oh, wow. Jesus. Oh, okay. This is not a driver here. Give me a second jacket. Give me a second jacket. This is not a driver. I want a little more mellow. This one's going to be a little more mellow. Almost went straight for the GB. No. I think I know who I'm I giving this to. Is he gonna oh, make it? You no. still didn't make Here it. Here we go. I still didn't make it. I got Here we go. Do I get to the wear champ. it. I think we yeah. have to share. Yeah. Eric. Well, you, you get it for this box. There it is. Okay. What do you think? Okay. Ah, you get it. I mean, yes, the yeah. CBS 8 Morning Putting Why? Pro. It's really official. Why never do doubt we have her abilities. Oh, I never, never doubt did. her abilities. You know, why do you have the green jacket? You know, I, because I mean, the champion seen, wears the green jacket. No, no, I mean, why does the station have a green jacket? <laughs> Jeff Zevely has Jeff every Jeff color Zevely imaginable. <laughs> yes, so uh, congratulations. Wow. Thanks. I mean, We're you so 
real proud to it. Right? Thanks, yes. you guys. For my first time doing whatever this is called. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same. Cutting, as cutting. you can tell. You wouldn't know it. I don't we believe tell it. With you. I was going to say, for me, I it's believable. For golf. you, not so much. You Next time, we'll get you a <laughs> tee and a driver, and you'll be all set. There we go. I, I just need a couple <laughs> lessons, you know? That's all well, I'm going to need. What's going on with weather as we let... Let uh, Ms. Aranpour just kind of enjoy her wand. spotlight wand moment. Around. Don't wear that. Don't don't get too comfortable in that jacket, Netta. Oh, I'm really? going to get some lessons in. Yeah, thanks and so. pretty soon, I'm going to be wearing that jacket. Let's take a look. Oh, boy. I really need some work on my putting. But see, it is an office putter, so I can do it more often in the studio here. I don't think we should move it anywhere. I think it should stay there for the remainder of however long we'd like it. Uh, take a look at what's going on outside. We are talking about those gusty Santa Ana winds. First thing I want to mention is that this morning, Morning is where we see the peak wind gusts out there. 60 mile per hour gusts in Sill Hill, making their way from east to west, bringing warm, dry air our way along the greater coastline. You got 10 mile per hour gusts already in Oceanside and 10 down in Chula Vista. As we head toward the afternoon and evening, we'll start to see those winds die down slowly, but it's going to take a little bit of time for that to take place, and that is why we have that high wind warning that is currently in effect for San Diego County. Here's what we got outside for the forecast 72, low 70s. Again, when we're seeing that warm, dry air move across the coastline, it warms us up. So as opposed to the upper 60s that we saw in the forecast yesterday and for a good portion of the week, we're going to warm up to the low 70s. Same case inland mountains continue with breezy conditions, low 50s, and it looks like we should hit about 70 degrees across your deserts. Now, when we look at the weekend forecast, we're sandwiched between a trough of low pressure and a ridge of high pressure. That air is going to want to flow from the ridge of high pressure down to the trough of low pressure. And as it does so, that low pressure system that moves closer to us is going to drop those temperatures back down. So as it moves in our direction, it'll bring us to the low uh, about upper 60s or so into Sunday, still bringing us a decent amount of sunshine out there. We have been talking this morning about the uh, police activity that's taking place on the on ramp onto the 125. So want to get to that uh, first off. You got the uh, state route 52 connector ramp to the 125 southbound closed due to police activity. Right now, nothing popping up as far as slower speeds go. Looks like volume is still pretty light out there, but uh, I think right now, Netta and Eric are more watching out for Netta's new green jacket than anything else. From the green on the road to the green to the jacket here. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I didn't say it was professionally tailored quite yet. It's a little big. <laughs> <laughs> she could be like the like official, you know, yeah. judge. I, yes. I'm telling you, yes. she's all set. She's the champ. <laughs>